Season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race is here, and I just got to say what a fantastic way to start our season. We got to meet seven new queens tonight, and they all did such a fantastic job. When it got to the end of the episode, and I was like, who is Ru going to kick off? I was like, don't send anybody home. They all deserve another week. And I was very happy when that was the outcome. Uh, first off, let's just talk about Nicki Minaj real quick. I thought she did a fantastic job as a, a guest guest judge today. I really liked her insight, especially when it came to like the lyrics and what and what everybody was saying. She brought a lot of positivity to everything, and I would be very happy to see her back again. All right, let's get into the episode. We might as well just go through all the queens. Uh, one of my favorites was uh, Gigi Good. I always have a soft spot for the underdog. And when Gigi came out and told the other queens that she was 21, and we see all the looks that all the older queens give her uh, that are saying, you're 21, you have not put your time in, you do not deserve to be here, I immediately started rooting for her. On top of that, Gigi is gorgeous. I'd say one of the best looking queens of our first half of our premiere this week. And uh, she just did a great job. Her fashion was on point start to finish. Uh, I thought it was maybe a little weird that she had the jockey BDSM as her fall look. I wasn't really getting fall vibes from that, but whatever. It still looked great, didn't it? And then she ends up as one of our top two uh, I really liked her lip sync like she is uh, aware that she doesn't have the dance moves that like Widow or Heidi has and she fully plays to her strengths funny and throwing personality out there which was kind of one of the questions about her being labeled as a fashion queen uh, but just uh, one other thing I want to say about Gigi is I believe she started drag when she was 15. So this isn't somebody who's just been doing this for six months. This is someone who's been doing drag for over a quarter of their life. And I think we're gonna see a very mature, refined drag from her, even though she is only 21. Uh, next up, let's go into Nikki Doll. Nikki, uh, also kind of the, the fashion fashion queen, uh, very good looking. We saw with her final look tonight with the metallic feathers and the flawless makeup that that's going to kind of be her, her thing. Uh, she had lots of really funny little behind the scenes things tonight where her interviews with the producers usually led to some sort of unfortunate mis mis uh, translation or a mispronunciation or misusage of a word which was which was kind of uh humorous and a little bit endearing to see uh nikki is from originally from paris now a new york queen another highlight for me was her her fall look in the the initial fashion runway she had that kind of pristine black and white outfit with that ridiculously huge hat. I uh, thought that was also fantastic. So yeah, good job, Nikki, and looking forward to more of you this season. Uh, next up, we have Jackie Cox. She's kind of more of the, the vintage vibe. We saw especially in her spring and fall looks. She is very retro, kind of that given, given that 60s vibe very stylish uh, her one critique she did get today was make sure you're paying more attention to your five o'clock shadow because on the final runway she was she, the, her darkness was showing through a little bit uh, she also had a little bit of a different story than any other queen we've ever seen before she's of Persian descent and from where back home where where her family originates from Iran you know people are still being killed for the crime of just being gay and that's not okay anywhere in the world and it just kind of puts into perspective you know there is a lot of bigotry and homophobia here in North America 
but we have made huge strides towards equality, inclusion, and equal rights. Just kind of opens your eyes to what's hap what's still happening elsewhere and how, how much better things are here, but also brings that focus back on we do need to continually be open and improving on including everyone in our society and allowing people to be who they are because we've already seen Jackie Cox is a phenomenal drag queen and she's come all over overcome a lot of adversity and if more people are up to facing those challenge and challenges and are able to overcome those we have so much more greatness and talent everywhere in the world not just in 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 the drag community next up let's go to Britta I will say Britta was kind of one of my least favorite queens tonight uh, her highlight for me was I think it was her final runway runway look where she had like the kind of the nice little peplum with with the with the hips and she was very much playing to her strengths she seems like a very mature and polished queen. I was getting a lot of a lot of negativity from her at different points throughout tonight's episode, especially when it came to the choreography. She didn't seem like dancing was her strength and was trying to really kind of steer things in a direction that she'd be more comfortable with, which is fine, but I just don't know if she went about it the right way to handling it. Uh, that's about all I'm going to say for Britta. Let's get on to Widow Von Du. That's our champion for the week. Uh, did a great job. I uh, loved her spring look on the runway. She had that neon neoprene uh, jumpsuit going on. I just thought it looked fantastic. And then she ends up being one of the leads on our choreography and, and rap portion. Her solo part of that was amazing. When she did that backwards drop down onto one hand, I don't even know what to call it, bent over backwards, still lip syncing, amazing. And then on top of that, she wins the final lip sync of the, of the night to be our champion. She's five, five grand richer. I liked Widow and uh, hope we get to see lots more from her. Next up, let's go to Heidi in Closet. She got a little razzed for her name at the end of the episode. So I don't know if that's going to be a negative against her as the season rolls on. And also, I was a little on the fence about her right out of the gate when she came in with that weird whistle thing. And I was thinking, if she does this nonstop all season, I will not be able to stand Heidi. But... Now she only did it once, only did it at the start. Uh, yeah, she did a great job. Her highlight was definitely in the choreography of the, uh, the, rap, the rap battle. I don't even know what to call it. I think I've, every time I've referred to it, I've called it something different. You know what I'm talking about. And her solo, she was bending over backwards, doing some contortion stuff, still lip syncing all, all along. Fantastic. So I think that wraps up all our queens for this week. Crystal Method! Except for Crystal Method. Oh, I'm sorry, Crystal. I forgot about you. Please forgive me. Uh, Crystal, highlight for me, definitely that Freddy Krueger fall look. Amazing. I loved everything of it about it. The safety pins connecting the different sections, the bandages in the hair. Awesome. Great job. My only negative I had for Crystal was I didn't like her over stylized hips. Uh, not really my thing. I mean, some people like that. Not really for me. But overall, what a great way to start our season. I uh, can't wait to see what's in store for our next half of our, our premiere and what's going to come this season. So thank you for watching.